What's going on, man? It's Bad Party People. Coach Anderson here. And if you're looking at that scary stuff right there, solving equations, yeah, we have some parentheses going on. Yeah, we have variables on both sides. But you're watching this video because you trust me to help you out. So let's get it to work. So first things first, let's zoom on in over here to question number one. So let's make sure that that's all we can see nice and easy. All right, let's get to work. So what do we do first? What's going on? I'm confused, right? So the first thing we wanna do when we're solving an equation is, well, is there anything we can clean up? Because if it's not obvious what you need to do in the beginning, it might be that we might not be experienced yet, or we just gotta clean things up. And so when you think about equations, let me ask you this. When you think about equations, do you feel like there's gonna be a parentheses at the end? No, right? There, there's not gonna be a parentheses at the end. That's not gonna happen. You're gonna have, you know, in this case, R or X or whatever it is that you're solving for, it's gonna be X equals, bam, a number. That's it. No parentheses. It's not gonna be variables on both sides. None of that stuff. So what do I understand about that? Let's get rid of the parentheses. So the first thing I'll do is I'll distribute, keyword there, rewind that one more time. We're gonna distribute the eight that's outside of the parentheses to everything that's inside. So I'm gonna do two colors here. So you can see both of those distributions. And so what we'll have, I'll rewrite everything we have so far, 264 on the left. And so we have eight multiplied by five R. Eight multiplied by five, that's gonna be 40. And then you'll just tag that R right there at the end. So we have right here, we'll have 40 R. Next up, we will have eight multiplied by the eight over here. They're both positive, so we're gonna keep it as a plus. Eight times eight, that's gonna be 64. Ooh, yeah, right there. So, so far, so good, right? This is something that's a lot more recognizable than, say, seeing the parentheses from up top. And so that's the idea, my party people. Again, we're always one little move, one little move, two little moves away from making a complicated problem seem a lot more doable. And that's the goal. So from here, my party people, let's keep it going. What we're gonna do next is we are going to, again, recognize we gotta get R by itself. So let's get rid of everything around it. We see that we have a multiplication of 40 here, and we have an addition of 64. PEMDAS, order of operations, tells us Hey, this is the last thing that we would do if I knew what the variable was. Like if the variable R was five, it would be 40 times five plus 64. So with that said, if I'm working backwards, that's the first thing I'm gonna take care of. So I'm gonna subtract 64 from both sides right over here. Subtract 64 right there and there, sweet. And once we have that, we will cancel out on the right side, giving us 200 equals 40R. And so at last, what I'll do my party people is divide both sides by 40, and we are done with this first problem. Right there, once we divide both sides by 40, we can cancel out on the right side, leaving us with just R equals five. And look at that. Um, I actually am doing this live, so it's pretty funny that the answer is five, given that I used five as an example earlier, but there you go. So let's take a look at number two here. And if you'd like to pause the video to give it a shot yourself, go ahead and do it. You got this. And so three, two, one. All right, let's get it going. And if you didn't know already, we actually do host a free ASVAB class once a week, and we have plenty more help and resources. So if you need that help, go ahead. There's my phone number right there. We have the website in the description of this video. That way you can get the ASVAB help that you need. So text me right there, I've got your back. So here we go, my party people. We wanna get rid of this parentheses again, but notice that it's gonna be a slightly more complicated. And that's okay. So let's go ahead and distribute here. But notice that what number uh, are we looking at, right? It can feel confusing if we look at it in that way. However, it's not terribly complicated. Remember that if you don't see a number there, it's gonna be a one. It's going to be a one. So here, technically, it's gonna be a negative one. So we're gonna do the same thing. We are going to distribute into both of these or everything inside of the parentheses. Once we have that, notice that we are multiplying by a negative, okay? You gotta bring that sign with you. I'm gonna highlight this so it is very, very clear that we're bringing the negative with that one. So here we go. We'll rewrite everything around it. 
90 equals negative 5x. And then we have negative 1 multiplied by a positive 1. That'll stay negative 1. And then we have negative 1 multiplied by 8x. So that would be negative 8x. So far, so good. That's all I did. All I did was distribute. Now I'm going to take a second look again. And I see that I have variables on the same side. No parentheses in between them now. So now I can combine these like terms. So combining these like terms, what it looks like is a negative 5x and a negative 8x coming together. Negative 5 minus 8, that's the same thing as 5 plus 8. Just keep it negative. So 5 plus 8, that's going to be 13. Negative 13x is what we have. So we have negative 13x minus 1. And now what I'll do, proceed as normal. Get rid of that number that's sitting there by itself, that negative 1. We're going to do that by adding 1 to both sides. Nice and easy. Cancels out on the right side, giving us 91 equals negative 13x. And what's the last thing that we'll do? It's not going to be adding 13. Remember, the operation that we are currently seeing is a multiplication, not subtraction. We see that negative 13 and the variable x, they are being multiplied together. So the opposite operation will be dividing by the negative 13. Once we do that, now we're good, cancels out, and we'll get x equals whatever 91 divided by negative 13 is, and that is going to be negative seven. And there you go. We have negative seven because a positive divided by a negative is gonna be negative, and 91 divided by 13 is seven, or seven times 13 is 91. Either way you wanna think about it, there it is. So my party people, I wish you all the best. I wanna make sure you're continuing to succeed. So as always, make sure to like this video, leave a comment on if this is helping you out or not, and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos that we put out to help you raise your score. And as always, for those of you who are looking for something a little more structured, something that will help you every single step of the way until you pass, I absolutely recommend my full ASVAB program. Stay tuned to the next slide to see more about that. I'll see you in the next video, my party people. Cheers. And before you go, if you're the type of person who's been suffering from test anxiety or you're about to go take the test for the second or third time and you don't want to risk that one month or six month delay, well then stop playing around with your future. Go ahead, text me, ask me about my full ASVAB program. That's how my students watch, practice, and master every single step of the way and I take care of everything for you. It's all lined up and all you need to do is just sit down and get to work. So if you want that solution for yourself, if you want a better enlistment process, then again, shoot me a text, let me know what your name is, tell me a little bit about yourself, and let me know that you wanna learn more about our full program. Got your back, my party people. Let's go ahead and do that now. Text me, and I'll see you on the other side. Cheers.